boys and girls, I have got a bit of a different story for us today. It's special because you are going to help me. It's a musical story, so we're going to need some musical instruments, but we're going to make our own instruments out of things that we might find around the house. We need to make different sounds. Our story today is called The Great Monster Hunt. So we need to make some sounds. And the first sound that we need to make is a psh, psh, psh sound. So what I have is a little shaker of noodles. So listen. The next sound that we are going to need is a growling sound. So I have found an old piece of paper. Just crunch up. Grr, grr. Then we need a bang, bang. So I have got my pot and a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon. Bang. Then we're going to have a pam, pam. So we're going to use our hands. Pam, pam, pam. And then we've got some other sounds that we're going to use our voices and our mouths for. So we're going to stop for a little minute. And I want you to find something that goes psh, psh. So maybe some sort of shaker. Something that makes a grrr sound. Maybe an old piece of paper. We can crunch and something to make a bang, bang sound. So make sure you check with mum or dad and ask them to help you find something. And I'll see you back in a little minute. Okay. Are we ready for our story? Have you got all of your instruments all ready? Let's have a little practice. So what was your psh? What is your grrr? What is your bang bang? Your pam 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 pam. And then we'll keep the voice ones for later. Ready to go? Early one morning, a funny noise woke up duck. It sounded like a psh, psh. Are you ready? Psh, psh, psh. And it came from underneath the bed. Duck was not quite sure what it was, and she was much too afraid to look. Instead, she jumped out of bed and ran for help. Pig! Duck yelled. There is something under my bed and it's making strange sounds. It goes... strong to help. Stay right where you are. And Pig ran to find Bear. Pig told Bear all about the frightening noise under Duck's bed. Now we need to get ready with our psh, our grrr and our bang bang. Are you ready? Duck said it goes Bang, bang. And I want to 
wanted to tell you, Bear, because you are so strong. Bear lifted a huge log. It's true, I am strong enough for almost anything, he said. But I think we'd better find someone who is loud enough to chase this thing away. So they ran to find Wolf, who was about to start his early morning howling. Bear told him the dreadful news about the terrifying thing under Duck's bed. So are you ready? It goes. <laughs> bang, bang, pam, pam. All of the time, said Bear. We thought that you could help us frighten it away. Oh, yes, I can. Wolf proudly said. There is no match for what I can do. Just listen. What sound do wolves make? Can you join in with a big howl? Ow! But maybe we also need help from someone who is really clever. So they ran off to find Owl. Listen, Wolf said, there is a dreadful and terrifying sound under Duck's bed. Are you ready? It goes. lost for words. We thought you might know what it is, Pig said, because you are so clever. Owl said, clever, yes, that's what I am. So I can tell you one thing, Duck is in great danger. <gasps> Pig Bear and Wolf huddled closer together. Are you sure? they asked. Oh yes, Owl said. Can you imagine anything kind and cuddly making such a noise? It must be a monster, yelled Pig. Oh, what are we going to do? The only way to deal with a monster said Owl, is to trap it. Oh, clever Owl. So the animal set about gathering rope and nets and useful pokey things. And then the four of them bravely set off towards Duck's house. Owl led the way because trapping the monster was his clever idea. Next came Wolf howling loudly. Should we do a big howl together? Ow! Then came Bear with his monster busting stick. And last was Pig, clutching his great monster catcher net. Finally, they arrived at Duck's house flattened their ears against the door. But no monstrous sound was heard. No screaming, nor crying, nor calling for help. <gasps> Maybe we are too late, whispered Bear. Oh no, cried Pig in despair. Duck! Are you there? called Wolf. Then the door 
slowly creaked open. Can you do a big creak? Let's open the door. It was Duck. You're here, she said. Duck, you are in great danger, whispered Bear. There's a monster under your bed, cried Pig. Duck looked faint. A monster, she whimpered. How do you know? Because it goes. You ready? Bang, bang, pam, pam, grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr